So in these next steps, what we're going to do is make this blog entry page look as much like our wireframes as possible. The bulk of our work is going to be in the sidebar where we create multiple views to display different content about the user who created the blog post and also related blog posts. But to begin with, to make sure that we have a good canvas to work with, what we're gonna do is resize this image, put it above the content, and hide our tags. So we can get to the display settings for this node type, the blog entry node type, by clicking Manage Display here. Again, that's given to us through the Display Suite module. For image, let's hide the label. And now we need to think about how we want to resize this image. Now, from our wireframes, we get a sense of the size that the image will be. But what's important for us as site builders to set up for the themer is a good image style, an image style that's right for this particular context. So we need to think about whether this context is the same as any other place where this image will display. So if we look at the wireframes, I'm going to hop on over to them, you see that the image displays here but then it also displays on the blog listings page here. So we need to think, is this the same context? Are we going to display the image in the same way on both? Let's assume for now that we are. The image is about the same size, and let's assume that if we want to adjust it on one of these displays, we're going to adjust it on another. So we'll create an image style, particularly for this context, which will be within a blog entry. So let's jump back to the browser, and I'm going to use coffee in order to jump to the image styles. I'm going to type image styles. And remember, I loaded up this overlay by pressing Alt-D. And we'll click on image styles. And let's add a new style. On the style name, let's type blog entry. We'll use a dash between the two words. And I'll click create new style. Let's select a new effect. And we're going to use scale. Basically, we want this to be a particular width just like the image style that we created in the sidebar, but it can have a variable height. So I'll click Add. And for width, let's type 250 for 250 pixels wide. We'll leave height empty to allow it to scale. And I'll click Add Effect. Okay, so we should be good to go there. I'm going to exit out of the overlay, and we'll go back to Manage Display. So for the image, again, we wanted to hide the label, so we're going to select Hidden. And for the image, we're going to click the cogwheel and select our new image style for blog entry. We'll leave the link image to to nothing for now, and let's click Update and Save. Okay, so now we have our image resized, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and move it above the content. By doing so, the themer will be able to use CSS in order to float it to the right of the content and have the content wrap around it. And let's also hide this tags field. I'm going to click on Manage Display again, and I'm going to drag image up above the body. And then for tags, we're going to select Hidden. And then we'll click Save. OK, so we have the image and the body. It looks good for now. This at least makes the image small enough so that it doesn't overlay on the sidebar. And we can begin building out the sidebar content. 